Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this video on IELTS letter topics. There are seven topics that come up regularly in general writing task one. They are a request letter, a letter of complaint, an apology, a letter of explanation, an application or resignation letter, an invitation, and a letter to make an arrangement. Your question could be on any one of them. Occasionally, other topics crop up, for example, a letter to thank someone, or a letter to make a suggestion or recommendation. We'll look at some sample questions of these too. There are also two different types of letter that you could be asked to write, a formal letter or an informal letter. You must learn how to decide what type of letter the question requires you to write, because you will need to use different language to create a different tone for each style of letter. It's very simple to tell the difference between them. Follow this rule. If the question includes the word friend, use informal language. If the question does not include the word friend, use formal language. The only exception is if a letter is to a close family member, when you would also use an informal tone, but these are not common. So, you should write a formal letter to someone you don't know or don't know well and an informal letter to a friend or close family member. Of the seven main IELTS letter topics, some are more common for formal letters, others for informal letters. I've highlighted the most common in red in these two lists. However, you could get any topic for either formal or informal letters, as you'll see in the sample questions we'll look at in a minute. It's important to be able to identify the different question topics, as many of them require you to use specific language. You'll find lists of useful phrases in my lesson on IELTS letter writing vocabulary. I put a link to it in the notes below this video. To help you recognise the different letter topics, we'll now look at some typical questions. Often a question will include elements of more than one topic. For the first question on this slide, for example, the letter is a request for a student to change courses, but you would also need appropriate language for complaining about the original course. Here's the question. You are not happy with the course you are doing at college and would like to change to a different course. Write a letter to the college director requesting to change your course. You should include details about what course you are doing now, why you are not satisfied with that course and what course you would like to change to. In the second letter, on the other hand, you have to explain something and also make an invitation. Here's the question. You have recently moved to a new home. Write a letter to a friend. In your letter, explain why you have moved, describe the new apartment and invite him or her to pay a visit. The point I'm making is that you shouldn't waste time stressing about the specific letter topic. Use the topic types as a guideline to help you choose phrases to use, but most of all make sure that you address each bullet point using appropriate language. The rest of the video contains sample questions for all the IELTS topics we've looked at. Where appropriate I've included a formal and an informal example. I'm not going to read through them, I'll leave you to do that. Pause on each slide, read the questions and make sure you understand why they're the type of questions stated. The first two questions are letters of request. These are letters of complaint. Next, two letters of apology. These are letters of explanation. Letters of application and resignation are also quite common. Next we have two invitation letters. These are letters to make an arrangement. You might be required to write a letter of thanks. Here are two examples. Finally, 
letters making a suggestion or recommendation. You'll find step-by-step -step lessons on how to write letters on most of these questions on my website ieltsjackie.com, including videos of the lessons. I've put a link to the menu page, where you'll find them all, in the notes below this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in these lessons soon. Goodbye for now.